Well, hey there, folks. Chuck here, and um, got a little unboxing for you. Uh, got a little bit of an update as well. Um, but first, I wanted to talk to you about this box of well, this envelope that I got from Maze Diecast on eBay. Uh, they do laser cut stuff. I don't know too much about them, other than I stumbled across them on eBay, and I love laser cut stuff. And as you saw, I love. Uh, SK-75 works and stuff, and uh, saw this as well, and was pleased to see someone stateside doing 164 scale laser cut, so I thought I'd take you with me on this as I dig through it. It's got that lovely laser cut, um, laser firewood smell that uh, you get when cutting MDF, the chemical and uh, wood burning smell. So anyway, this is the combo pack that they have. It is a two garage set. There's a three bay automotive garage and a three bay tractor trailer repair garage set up that they had. And at the time of purchasing, it was, I believe, $39.99 for the combo pack. Yeah, $39.99 uh, plus shipping, but you know, it was like, 860 and shipping or something, it's not bad. So anyway, I was intrigued because um, they are priced significantly cheaper than SK-75, especially when you factor in shipping. But his stuff is incredibly detailed. So I wanted to see what was available for us Yanks who have um, who would like a more budget conscious option, or one that doesn't have as much uh, shipping house. And I do have some more stuff from uh, Chris over at SK75 coming soon that I will be doing another unboxing on. But uh, first, uh, hey, uh, we're at almost 700 subscribers, guys. That's like incredible. So thank you very much. I'm incredibly flattered that we've gotten that far this quickly. And uh, it's really humbling, especially on a year as bad as this one that seems to be continuing to get worse. And that's kind of the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about, um, because it looks like things are going to be changing some more for me on a personal level in ways that I cannot really go into yet, because they're still in development. But on the plus side, I think there is a version of this scenario that plays out where I do have um, not just more opportunity to make videos for y'all, but also to uh, actually be a more active part in the diecast and miniature community as a whole. And I've already started talking with some people about those options, and I think they could be really fun and really um, help build this community that has meant so much to me in probably the most depressing and tough year of my life, and that's saying something. Whew, that was a lot of masking tape. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't wait too much longer to get this off. Um. Okay. But, uh, there will be more on that soon. So, looks like there was a little damage here to the MDF. That's not a big deal, but, um... I was a little worried when I saw that this came in an envelope, um, but everything seems mostly intact otherwise besides that little dent. So pretty straightforward, I think that's the roof. Uh, I do like these, uh, the doors on these are cut, so I can do the doors open or closed. That's nice, I didn't realize that when I saw the... Uh, Okay, so that is a very big plus, in my opinion. Although they don't have details on the back, but that's not a big deal. That's pretty easy, really thick. Well, either way, uh, having those as separate pieces is nice because uh, you can set them back a little bit, give yourself a little recess, make it a lot more realistic. So that is big plus. Now, they do say in the uh, description that you can request um, different numbers. Uh, so if you wanted to do like different four, five, six or order multiples, they can do that. So 
That is cool. And um, I will show um, on the screen, probably right about now, you'll be seeing some uh, screenshots of me uh, scrolling through their eBay store. They had a bunch of different options. They are definitely more in the DCP, like semi-truck people uh, category. You know, hence the uh, semi-truck uh, size garage doors. But uh, I wanted the combo pack just because I wanted to see how the two compared. And uh, I never have too many large doors. So I th this is a front and back style setup. So you have doors on the front and on the back. So that's cool. So this, I think this is the semi one because these seem pretty big. Just those off. I want to get this tape off of here before too much more residue gets on it. So, uh, like I said, I don't know too much about them. Uh, I haven't seen this stuff before, but you know me, I love a good uh, garage layout. And there is woefully few people doing stuff like this in the States. You usually have to get it sent from Europe or Asia or England. I guess they're still kind of Europe. Don't know what they are anymore. But we're not here to talk about Brexit. Anyway. Like I said, I'm very excited to get my stuff from Chris at SK75. But uh, in the meantime, um, also, you might be hearing a lot of whirring and clicking and fans in the background that is normally not there, and I apologize for that, but that is uh, a new addition and part of kind of where things are going for me. Um, so that is my newer 3D printer. I'm still doing bench tests on it, trying to dial in how these things work, because there is... I've done a lot of resin 3D printing, as you've seen, but uh, going to FDM, it's a completely different set of parameters and a different technique, and there's all this art and science behind it, and it's really more art than science, it turns out, because, you know, there's not a lot of just, like, plug in this recipe and boom, you're good to go. Like, there's a lot of fine-tuning, so I'm printing a lot of uh, Finchy the Boat models. So, um... Yeah, this is pretty, pretty straightforward here. Um, again, you know, this does seem a bit simplistic. They had more complex kits, like they had a, a post office one that I was very tempted by, but uh, didn't get because I'm again, garages are a lot more versatile. Um, but I did like the the post office one with the loading dock, and there was a, a fire station one, and there's a security booth, and there's a big. Uh, a gas station island kind of thing. So, um, and they had a few different scales too. There's like 160th or 164th and 150th uh, stuff. Still don't know much about the 150th stuff. I haven't delved into oh, that too much. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the 164th, even though 164th seems to be uh, more of a theory than an actual scale, it would seem. Most of the time, anyway. Um, so, anyway, the uh, whirring and clicking is my new FDM printer, and I'm, I'm actually making some stuff right now for uh, 2AHD Cat. Uh, he commissioned me to uh, print him some uh, some details for some stuff. I, I'm not gonna spoil that in case he's working on a surprise. But uh, anyway. I'm doing mostly resin stuff, but I'm trying a few things out, so he's going to be getting a few experimental things, and probably not going to be that great, but that's why they're experimental. So yeah, this is definitely the smaller one. Um, so this is cool, because, you know, the, the other one is mostly just uh, the garage doors, and these have smaller doors and uh, doors within them. Uh, doors next to them. I've got a little dummy car here. So, you can kind of see. So that's a good size. Would still work uh, pretty well for, you know, full-size pickup truck. Probably even one of the smaller, like, the early era monster trucks from Greenlight. Uh, so that's cool. 
like that. Again, love that the doors are separate. So, I don't know, I may even try like making my own doors to fit in there, 3D printing something that's a little thinner. Because uh, that is really thick. Ooh. Okay, the fumes are starting to get to me. Um, <laughs> so, and this one, that's cool. So, you've got like the garages front and back, and then there's doors on the sides. So, that's nice. So, I think the other one was, well, the other one had doors on the sides too. So, that's good. So, yeah, a lot of opportunities to do some cool artwork here, do some uh, texture overlay. I've got some texture paper I want to try out. That I picked up not too long ago. This would be fun for. So, and then of course you got all your girders, and uh, these kind of have a pretty straightforward um, uh, setup for holding the, the doors in place up top. So you can have them displayed up or down. So I'll probably be displaying them up because what's the point of a garage if you can't see in it? But uh, I thought this was a pretty cool set, and you know, for the money, um, not bad. So, um, yeah, it's again not as detailed as SK75, but the price is a lot more approachable. So, you know, if you wanted to get these as like a holiday gift for a diecast person in your life, uh, I think this would be a, a great uh, kit. It's there, I don't think there's any. Instructions. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a it's a block. It's a you know we're talking squares here, and then obviously these just kind of drop into place. And they have lots of pictures on the side, so not too worried about that. But yeah, um, so again, thank you so much for uh, what will hopefully soon be 700 subscribers. That's incredible. Um, please bear with me as I'm trying to figure out uh, a bunch of different stuff to um, basically figure out what I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> I thought I had that figured out, and uh, now I'm not so sure. So, uh, we'll see, and um, hopefully I'll have some good news for you all soon, and a new build. I am currently working on a new build, a commission for uh, somebody from one of the Facebook groups. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a um, multi-vehicle uh, setup, and that's going to be a blast to share with you. But yeah, so that's uh, that's this setup. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. I'll uh, keep you posted. If you um, want to keep up with me, uh, follow the Flying Valiant uh, page on Facebook, or you can follow me on LinkedIn at Flying Valiant. Um, you know, if you're finding this video for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, I've got a lot of really fun builds, and uh, I swear I'm actually going to do a diorama build someday. Um, I know Gunslinger Garage is eagerly awaiting me to actually get started on my one from uh, Grizz at 3D Bearcat. Uh, but it's coming, I promise. Uh, just got to get some commissions out of the way, and I've got some fun videos coming up, and there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. So, uh, you know. Please subscribe, please hit the bell, uh, and um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this, uh, if you think it was worth the money. I think it is. I think it's a, a cool find, and I think it'll be a lot of fun to detail. Uh, and, um, you know, let me know what you're looking for in your diecast stuff. Like, what do you wish was more available? I'm kind of curious about that. Like, what uh, I like more layouts, more shadow boxes, more ways to display our cars, but I'm um, curious what you think. Like, if you could, uh, if money or options were no objects, um, what would you like to see on your shelf with your diecast cars? So, hey, before I forget, I just wanted to give a big thank you to Jake Rademacher for being the winning bid on my truck build for Veterans Day. Because of him, over $200 is going to the National Veterans homeless support charity i already made that donation and i sent him the receipt so thank you jake that was really awesome of you and thank you to everyone who bid on that i can't believe it started at seven dollars and fifty cents and ended up at almost 200 bucks and then i chipped in the rest 
that was the shipping cost. So every penny that Jake paid went straight to NVHS. And I'm so grateful. That was amazing. You're amazing, Jake. And thank you again to everyone uh, who watched that build and commented. You were super awesome. I was so nervous about that build and just didn't know what to say. So I decided just not to say anything. And uh, I'm so glad it was well received. So thank you, everyone, for that. That meant a lot. I'll talk a little bit more about that on my next build video since those tend to get more views than these unboxings, but uh, just wanted to make sure I didn't forget about that. So that's it for now. Uh, once again, thanks for coming along with me for the ride. So until next time, stay fresh, cheese bags. Thank you.